change your mission then, because it's like right by here. Is that you? You okay there, mister? Mm. You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back chat? Mm, they didn't like my medical oh. practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was... Some know-it-all, big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source hmm. of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. Let's go get his wagon back, impression? actually. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love for my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm oh. sort of forced to. Please <laughs> don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Ooh. Okay, then. Looking for that fellow's wagon? Yeah. I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Right, okay, then let's get on the horse. Let's go and see Biscuit. Wait! What? Wait! What? Why was my horse running away? I've been nothing but kind to you, horse. Oh, we're gonna have to kill some fuckers up here, yeah. We might have to get a uh, faster horse at some point. Yeah. Like, he's a good horse, but he's, he's not quick, you know? God, this is beautiful in this game. Like, what the hell? Yeah. It's insane, right? Like, what's this game? Like, six year old, seven year old, something like that? And it looks like this. Oh. Man, it's mental, you know? It's still one of, if not the best looking game I've, I've played. It's fucking mad. And it looks really good on console as well, you know? This is a bit, a bit creepy, this place, isn't it? Oh, God. Yeah. Carbine repeater, we want the double barrel shotty and the Lancaster repeater. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up it. Ain't it? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. Yeah? I'm sick. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, I fucking missed. Oh, I got the bolt action rifle with the shotgun. Must have been a dick shot. Oh, Fucking have some of that. Set the one light of light. If you done, boys, yeah, I'll go. Let's uh, let's loot up first. All about the loot, boys. Oh, can't open that one. I was hoping it'd be some like crocodiles or alligators knocking about you we could feed someone too. Can I go in here? I can. I've got a funny feeling we've been here before, you know. Hopefully the dock will give us something good for our troubles. Yep. Oh god. It's so high. It's so high. Come on, horse. I like how the horse follows you as you as you ride the wagons and other stuff, you know. I do like that. Better give us something good for this. Is this going to fit under that bridge? Yeah. Oh, the wheels are going to come off then. Huh? Don't topple, don't topple. Oh. oh, we ran something over. We ran over a creature. Taking a car off like sick jumps. <laughs> Here he is. Uh, Here's our friend. Here's oh our friend. Oh, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. 
It wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about What's this? Us? Provide a man a tincture. He'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. He's a nice guy. Right, we can go and see John now. Hopefully. My damn horse ever got you. Oh no. Sorry, mister. Oh my god, why does he keep running away? What's wrong with we're getting a new horse? Look out! Has anyone seen Gavin? Partner? Listen, have you seen I'm looking for my friend Gavin? I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. Mm. That's, uh, up, boy. that's too bad. Gavin! He's just going to stand in the road and keep shouting Gavin? That's what he's going to do? Yeah. When I played this before, I never did find Gavin, so we may have a look this time. Kicking off. Oh God, no. Dude, this is mental. What's going on? Can I help you? Oh, well, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, yeah. uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Dude, the minute to minute, like, little sequences in this game are mental. Down, you're helping everybody, and there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family, a family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruin this county. They killed the general's uncle, the know. worst. That ain't right. Problem so is, in can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta oh, do is look know. at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. 
Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Mm. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. We're going wrestling some horses. Lead the way, John. Crazy old fool. If he only knew, we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? <laughs> the old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. You should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. I love the cinematic camera in this. Okay. All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in Tell some him. stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Look... Head on up to the stables. Just like that. Someone Just like that, lads. Yeah. Well, I suppose he couldn't raid you ahead, could he? That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. No, no one's rushing, Arthur. All right, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up. Oh, there. this is where that crazy lady's. Locked in the toilet. Oh All right, man. let's hitch up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's let's hitch up. It is gonna work this time. Sometimes it doesn't work. Good boy. Let me do the talking. Hey, you. I help you boys i hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses i mean i don't get you friends some yeah good you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa i don't like what officials. a fucking prick we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me yeah these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's... Uh -huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. <laughs> Bandana's on. Don't need no... Uh, bandana time. Buddy recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. 
Good boy. Easy now. Easy. Calm. Marston, I couldn't remember how to calm. Horse. Okay. Easy. It's okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Lead. There you go. It's just like a like a big dog. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Just like a big dog. What are you doing? Let's go, quick. Get going, you two. I want some. What the hell? Go! Oh. Oh, I think I shot the horse. Oh, I did. Take these fuckers out. Dude, look how pretty that is. There's a gap in the fence. We can get out that way. See if we can get rid of them in the trees. So pretty, man. So pretty. Do you want any more trouble, boys? Well, Yeehaw! Okay there, boy. Sorry. Shit! One of the stallions is looking. Keep going! I'll get him! There we go. Easy! Yeah. Alright, we got him. Just him. over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. I got him. Well, pro horse wrangler. That gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You <laughs> think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Come Not on even close. Now. Not even close. Is it just gonna just gonna stay there? What you boys want? Heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? <laughs> sure, Pop. Buy anything. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John. I think Arthur, Clive Javier. may be a bit off. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. <laughs> Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, 
I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give <laughs> you... I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Just, just take the money and the horses, uh, right? You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again. I hope. Come on. Fucking shoot yeah. Clive in the face. Close the gate, Clive. Shoot Clive right in the teeth. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. And imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. 